down to South Park and meet some friends of mine. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. Merry Christmas. And let's check out Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. Let's do this. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Lights, please. Lights, please. This day in the city of David is the Savior, to Christ the Lord. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, Mary, push! Ah, I can see its head! Uh, uh, it's a boy! What children's Christmas play do you know of that shows a child actually giving birth to a child. A South Park children's Christmas play. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait, wait, of wait. Of course he's directing. You need to hold the baby by the legs, not by the head. What kind of sick weirdo are you? Sorry. Sick weirdo and Wendy, you? I'm still not believing the labor pains. What the hell do you think you're doing? Well, I'm trying to direct the school Christmas play, but your son was holding baby Jesus fetus by the head. Baby Jesus fetus. Our family doesn't celebrate Christmas. <gasps> oh, God, you're not going to lay that Hanukkah crap on me, are you? What? what, what? Kyle's mom is here <laughs> to ruin Christmas. Shut up, fat boy. I'm not fat. I'm festively plump. Kyle, is there anything you can do for a Christmas play that isn't related to Jesus? I can sing the Mr. Hanky song. The Mr. Hanky song? How does that go? Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. He loves me and I love you. Christmas poo? What the hell is Christmas poo? Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. Haven't you guys ever heard of it? Kyle, that is enough. See, that's what you get when you raise your child to be a pagan. Now that does it. <laughs> I am going straight to the mayor about you, Mr. Oh, wait, Garrison. wait, wait. I'm sorry. Was it the pagan remark? Try to catch snowflakes on your tongue. It's fun. Try to catch snowflakes on your tongue. It's fun. Oh, that music. Charlie Brown vibes. Mm. Oh, sick, dude. Jewish people can't eat Christmas snow. We can, too. Officer Bar Brady. What? Is it illegal for Jews to eat Christmas snow? Yes. Damn it! <laughs> Bar Brady is useless. You don't get Christmas presents. No, but I get Hanukkah presents for eight days. Too bad it's usually a dreidel or something lame like that. But I do have Mr. Hanky the Christmas poo. What, what is this about Christmas poo, dude? I really want to see his origin. You're going to be sorry when you see me riding around on Santa's sleigh with Mr. Hanky, fat ass. You're not going to ride on Santa's sleigh because you're a Jew, Kyle. See you, dude. I kind of feel Kyle's Christmas pain. I mean, I'm not Jewish, but I do live in Japan, and they have Christmas here, but it's not really Christmas. It's hard to be a Jew on Christmas. My friends won't let me join in any games. And I can't sing Christmas songs or decorate a Christmas tree. My people don't believe in Jesus Christ divinity. I'm a Jew, a lonely Jew, on Christmas. And instead of eating ham, I have to eat kosher latkes. Instead of Silent Night, I'm singing Hu Hachto Gavish. <laughs> and what the f is up with lighting all these f***ing candles? Tell me, please. I'd be merry, but I'm Hebrew on Christmas. Showcasing those musical skills, season one. That was good. The school play is doing a nativity scene! It isn't being sensitive to the Jewish community! You are the Jewish community! Yeah! yeah. Oh boy, super bitch is at it again! Don't call my mom a bitch, Cartman! Well, the nativity is what Christmas is all about. Father if Vaxi. you remove Christ, you must remove Santa and Frosty and all that garbage, too! Hallelujah! Amen! People always find something to fight about. And I'm sick and tired of those little flaps on coffee lids. If you don't want to spill your coffee, then you shouldn't be driving with it. What, Jimbo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, people. Perhaps we need a new icon for Christmas. How about Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh? Yeah. Excuse me? 
He comes out of the toilet every year and gives presents to everybody who has a lot of fiber in their diet. Kyle! Shh! It's true. He doesn't care what faith you are. Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo, he loves me and I love you. Therefore, if I carry me, he loves you. Even don't mind him. He's a very disturbed little boy. Fantastic. Yeah. I'll put together a crack team of my best workers to make sure this will be the most non-offensive Christmas ever. Not offensive for South Park. Are there any other suggestions? Yes, Mr. Garrison. Could we get rid of all the Mexicans? See? <laughs> no, Mr. Garrison, we cannot get rid of all the Mexicans. Rats. Having imaginary friends is fine, Kyle, but this simply will not do. Listen to your father, Kyle. Now, I want you to repeat after me. There is no such thing as Mr. Hanky. But Dad, he always... Say it! There is no such thing as Mr. Hanky. Now you go brush your teeth and march into bed. You won't be opening your Hanukkah present tonight. Probably just another stupid dreidel anyway. What did you say? I said Ike's on fire. Watch your mouth. <laughs> I'm not hearing that. <laughs> Mr. Hanky? He came and said, if you don't flush the toilet, then Mr. Hanky's going to jump out and kill you. Gosh, Jeez. you're looking swell. Go away, Mr. Hanky. You know something, pal? You smell an awful lot like flowers. Ooh. If I weren't real, could I sing this jolly Christmas song? Santa Claus is on his way. He's loaded good. He's on his way. Hanky, shh. I'll get in trouble. Folks will gather around the fire, sing a song from a choir. Pretty soon the whole return. What are you doing Skid in there? Mark, Noel. Open this door! I hope the Santa comes real soon. I've been waiting for you. Kyle! Say something, Mr. Hanky. Oh, no. Can you imagine what your dad would do if he walked in on you with a dead brick of feces in your hands and there were skid marks all over the walls? <laughs> Now you get to sleep and think about how your poor mother has to clean that bathroom up. What, what, what? Me? <laughs> Take down anything that is offensive to any specific group. Still is relevant. Is mistletoe offensive? Is anyone offended by mistletoe? Lose the mistletoe. Yeah. I'm getting that John Elway football helmet for Christmas. How do you know? Because I looked in my parents' closet last night. Yeah? Well, I sneaked around my mom's closet, too, and saw what I'm getting. The Ultra Vibe Pleasure 2000. Kitty's being a dildo! I know a certain kitty kitty who's sleeping with mommy tonight. Oh, no. What's in the box, dude? It's a surprise. Let me see. Oh, okay, but, but don't scare him. Dude, <laughs> sick! <laughs> Is this some kind of Jewish tradition? This is a sugar cool, this is a sugar cool. Wait, you guys, he's alive! Kyle, I think you Kyle. better get home and get some sleep. Come on, dance! Dance! Dance, <laughs> damn you! I'm going to say words, and the computer will measure how offended you are by them. In this way, we can find out which words are least offensive for use in the holiday season. Are we ready? Okay. Yep. Christ. Hmm. Okay. Chair. Hmm. Safe. Camel. Hmm. Why? Stupid wop day. Does anybody know any non-Santa or non-Jesus Christmas songs? How about we sing, Kyle's mom is a stupid bitch in D minor. I told you not to call my mom a bitch, Cartman. Eh, <laughs> well, Kyle's mom's a bitch, she's a big fat bitch, she's the biggest bitch in the whole wide world. <laughs> then on Sunday, just to be different, she's a super king, can may or may or be yacht. Have you ever met my friend Kyle's mom, she's the biggest bitch in the whole wide world. What the? <gasps> Gross, Kyle! Oh my lord, Kyle, did you just throw doo-doo at Eric? Oh. There is to be no more throwing of feces, understood? <laughs> uh... Ew, shit, bastard! I want to try and help you confront your problem, okay? I don't have a problem. Well, it's, it's my understanding that you, uh, you, you have an acute case of fecophilia. Coprophilia. 
A fecophiliac is somebody who's obsessed with Mookie Stinks, Kyle. Mookie Stinks? Now, I also understand that you're Jewish, is that right, Kyle? Well, not on purpose. So this must be a pretty hard time of year for you, being Christmas and all. Do the other kids make fun of you? Well, sometimes. And that must make you mad? Well, sure. Mad enough to kill, Kyle? I, I don't think no, so. No, dude! But Mr. Hanky seems so real. Well, of course he does. And in your screwed up little head, he's the only friend you have. Did you ever have any imaginary friends that you actually remember? Because I don't. I was a kid and maybe I had some, but I don't really remember them. Oh. Oh. Right now, you're nuttier than Chinese chicken salad, okay? I mean, you're one screwed coffee. up little kid. Do you understand? No, I stop drinking that. So try and stay positive, stay away from drugs and alcohol, and in the meantime, I'm going to put you on a heavy regimen of Prozac. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh my god, you sick little monkey! You sick little monkey! Ooh. The Christmas play can't include any Christmas lights since they offend people with epilepsy. So, Kenny, oh, would you please go over and pull the light cords out of the wall? <laughs> oh, no. Careful Don't. now, Kenny. Those are very, very dangerous. Oh. We need to commit our friend Kyle, please. Reason? I'm a clinically depressed fecophiliac on Prozac. Any allergies? No. Jacket! <laughs> Oh, this could be such a wonderful Christmas play. I wish our little Kyle was here to see it. Dreidel, 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 I made you out of clay. Dreidel, 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 with dreidel I will play. Oh, dreidel, 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 I made it out of sand. And when I tried to spin it, it crumbled in my hand. Dreidel, 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 I... He's losing it. There's a star above the stage. That's very offensive to non-Christians. Oh, come on. Hey, don't it's put your beliefs on me, buddy. I agree. Kenny, would you please climb that ladder and take down the star <coughs> above the stage? And be careful not to fall in that little pool below you, Kenny. The shark for the third act is in there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we bring out the kitties for the play, here's a non-offensive, non-denominational holiday song by the school chef. Oh, boy. I'm gonna lay you down, bother you along. I'm gonna love you right. <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna deck your halls and silent your night. Nice. <laughs> you hear the hero angel sing when I'm sliding off your bra. I just can't wait to jingle your bells and fa la la your la. Fa la la your la. I guess love making is non denominational, though. Oh, he made it! The happy, non-offensive, non-denominational Christmas play with music and lyrics by New York minimalist composer Philip Glass. As I turn and look into the sun, the rays burn my eyes. What? <laughs> How like a turtle the sun looks. What the hell is this? Exactly. This is horrible! This is the most god-awful piece of crap I've ever seen! All you bastards ruined Christmas! Get him in the red! Oh, damn tree hunter! Oh. Say, where's Here, Kyle? Go ahead, it. We committed him. What? Why? Cause he kept seeing this little brown piece of Christmas poo everywhere that he went. Christmas poo? You you mean Mr. Hanky? Huh? Oh, Chef knows him? We're bored. There's nothing to do. Well, maybe this will help. Oh, oh my Hanky goodness. Search and set. That's right, kids. Now you can make your very own Mr. Hanky. Just use this special fecal fishing net and select your best <laughs> Mr. Hanky. That one. Then use the handcrafted Hanky stand to add whatever eyes, mouths, and hats you want. I made a mariachi Mr. Hanky. Mr. Potato Head, a toy you can put together yourself from Hasbro. I wish Daddy was still alive. What? Mr. Hanky playset comes with everything seen here. Hey, where's Mr. Hanky? Oh. What in the hell was that? The last live action toy commercials I remember from South Park were, uh, was it Wild Wacky Action Bike? Wild Wacky Action Bike, it's a bike that's hard to ride. An Alabama man? Alabama, wow. He's quick, he's strong, he's active. Ah! The 
This is they horrible. Are still Everybody's fighting. fighting, and my best friend is in an institution, all because we didn't believe in Mr. Hanky. Well, you can believe in him now. I believe in Mr. Hanky. <gasps> so you just have to believe in him. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Talking poo is where I draw the line. What's all the ruckus? I'm glad you're here, Mr. Hanky. The whole town is about to kill each other. Stop fighting! You people have focused so hard on the things wrong with Christmas that you've forgotten what's so right about it. Mm. This is the one time of year we're supposed to forget all the bad stuff. Stop worrying and being sad about the state of the world. And for just one day, say all oh, the heck with it. Let's sing and dance and bake cookies. Dude, this is pretty f***ed up right here. I'm a Jew, a lonely Jew. Idaho, cops! Oh no, it. I'm not sane yet. I brought some friends with me. Friends? Merry Christmas, Kyle Brodlowski! Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown! Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh, he loves me, I love you, therefore by courtesy he loves you, Seriously. even if you're a Jew! Sometimes he's nutty, sometimes he's corny, he can be brown or greenish brown. But if you eat fiber on Christmas Eve, he might come to your town. Mr. Hanky, <laughs> well, I've got a long night ahead of me. Bye-bye and Merry Christmas. Goodbye, Mr. Hanky. Bring me lots of presents. I always believed in you. Howdy ho ho ho. You know, I learned something today. I learned that Jewish people are okay. And that Hanukkah can be cool too. Yeah. You know, it seems like something's still not right. Yeah, something feels unfinished. <laughs> well, what could it be? Let him live on Christmas. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> nice. I know not everybody feels Mr. Hanky, but I thought that was a really strong season one Christmas episode. And I thought it was especially strong musically. But I enjoyed the songs and I enjoyed the episode. And I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Merry Christmas to you and yours. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Happy birthday to me.